We just saw a small clip of Digital Foundry teaching us how to pixel count. This was the first video I looked up when I just started this channel and I wanted to learn pixel count. Over the course of the last three years, I've been doing pixel counts on this channel where I first started by just making screenshots on my consoles, later updating them and then trying to figure out what the resolution was. This was not very efficient. Uh, after a while, I switched to actually making lossless recordings for the pixel counts and exporting a few frames from Final Cut Pro and then trying to determine what the resolution was. It was way more efficient than the first method, but it was still pretty, pretty time consuming. The final method, if you can call it like that, was actually a part automation where I could run this script and export a given number of frames for each video I recorded and also apply a filter on those images to enhance the edges. This was an edge enhancing, but without altering the edges. We can see a pattern here in which I actually try to save time and at the same time get better results. I think this is something everyone wants, but for me, it still wasn't enough. I still need to manually pixel count, or at least try to, each single image that is suitable for a pixel count. Even though all these tools and scripts and automation helped me a lot, it was just still not efficient enough. It's still very time consuming, and I'm pretty confident that everyone that does pixel counting can agree. So basically last year I started with this idea of what if we can automate this with machine learning or any other type of technology that could help us. I mean it's 2024 right and we are still using a method that is almost a decade old. So this last half year I've spent countless of hours just trying to train a model using machine learning to help us with this task. Here on screen, you'll see uh, just some numbers to, to give you an idea of how much work went into this. And I'm very proud to say that I was able to achieve a 98.4% accuracy of the model. I have prepared a couple of examples just to show you what is possible with this type of technology. Obviously, like I mentioned, the accuracy is at 98.4%. So while it's very trustworthy, we'll still have some false positive from time to time. Also, for those interested in pixel counts, I'm actually working with a developer right now to create an app. And basically the app will be a gateway to this model which is running on a backend server and it will let you make your own predictions just based on screenshots you create on your favorite console. I realize this is a very different and new approach for pixel counts. So I'm curious to hear from you guys. What, you, what do you think? Is this something we need to build up on or forget about? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care.
Actual, this is Romeo 1. Initiating burnout. Over. Copy that, Romeo 1. We've got to get you in there, inside the dome. There's a war starting. The Alpha Seth? No. Remember those guys who shot you full of cape bolts in Siberia? The guys who had you in lockdown for God knows how many years? The guys who tore the nanosuit from my flesh? The guys who were going to do the same to you? Sell? Those guys. Disembarkation in progress. All non-essential personnel must leave the area. Cell security AI. Silencer on. 